time for an update on the garden. I'm just in big shed. I'm taking it easy today because I was doing lots of welding and then grinding and hammering on the body, or well, the rear half of the body, and I'm a bit sore today. Uh, it was going for quite a while, but it's coming along nicely. It's a really nice day today. You can see everything's nice and green and growing really well. There's lots of bees around. We've got lots of poppies, lots of colour. Signs that head gardener's been around doing her thing where there are piles of muck around and uh, piles of weeds. Really like the poppies. Old Nutty's doing well. He's getting quite big now. And you can see where there are piles of compost around where she's uh, planting various things. Nice flowers there. Our front verge got a bit damaged. There was a company, a crane company, who for some reason drove their crane on the grass. Um, I've actually got film of them doing it. They ruined it. They've put these big gouges in it. I rang the council who said they were supposed to come around and fix it, but they never did. So I did notice uh, Kerry, our neighbor, the farmer across the road who lives over there, did he noticed it and he drove his tractor over it and flattened it down quite a bit it was actually way worse than that um but yeah very annoying they never came to to fix that i think i rang the council a couple of times and they said yeah we'll get them around to fix it they never did uh lilies so this is the apricot of course and i did notice there was some fruit on this already there's some up there Few more up there so maybe we'll get some off that i have had an apricot off there before um cape gooseberries that we're putting in so a lot of these plants that were put in have ended up dying which is fine uh here's one of the stumps left over so we just pull them out and we've been chipping them um, more compost there something will go in there Oh, there was a way through here. Oh, yep, there it is. Everything's getting so lush and green, it's hard to find the spaces. Um, this was our, our new water tank. We haven't actually used it yet, but it is full. It was last time I checked, it should be totally full. So, there's lots of water there for summer. Around here is growing up. That's a nice little orangey pink poppies we still need to do a trip to the tip to get rid of all of this just waiting till we've got a decent car load yeah everything's just growing up like mad my drainage that i put in there earlier in the year has definitely done the trick so this used to get all swampy but it's it's really good now down through here Cats never did go up into that tree. Um, that's all still actually got wire there, so the plant just grew up around the wire. But they do use the tun tunnel, and they do come to their little cat area, just in there. They're getting pretty old now though, those cats. Uh, no sign of any owls yet, Ruru, but the box is there. And we'll have to get more firewood next year. You can see everything's really green. Neighbours field there with horses. There's a horse. It's a wild garden here. Flax is growing up. 
Now this is the almond tree. There's lots of almonds on here, but I don't know if these are like edible ones or not. Uh, this one, this is the pear tree. It's a grafted, it's like a two variety pear. And we've put in some other trees. There's one here. A little courtyard garden. It's all just, just growing up. Um, she's training the roses to grow around these things. Got the olive tree there. Lots of wild rocket, which I just snack on. I'm not sure what's happened with our knee cows. That one seems okay, but these other two got a bit uh, possibly frost damage. This is one of the plum trees. There's lots of fruit on that. So hopefully we get lots lots from it this year. This is all growing up. It's been a while since we've been down to the beach to look for more bones. Should do a trip. There's some sort of wild south-seeded strawberries around. Blueberry, there's things on that. Another tree there, and another tree there now. Um, you can see this rose, how it's, it's trained to go around. Lots of flowers. Not sure I've seen any plums on this tree yet. Oh, there's, there's one. There's a couple. Lots more flowers. Uh, my grapes are doing well and last year I forgot to water them and they shriveled up uh, before I even got to the point where I needed the bird netting to stop the birds getting on them. This year there's lots, lots of grapes coming and today we put in this little irrigation system Quite a few grapes in here. I might need to thin it out a little bit more. Um, and we've run this irrigation pipe. There's another rose being trained along the fence. So we've run this pipe to here. And uh, I can turn the pump on, on Humpty and pump the water up and water the grapes. The horses. We pulled out all the bushes that were in here. They were all kind of a bit mangy and eaten by the cows so we pulled those out and shredded those back over here we have flowers on there another rose growing along that fence and there's a guava there another one there they're slowly coming along and there's a new one there because I think we lost one um, but the Fijoas are doing well we should get lots of those And the idea is we'll get rid of the rest of this fence, uh, this hedge rather, once that area there grows up a little bit more to shade us from the street. Uh, and that'll let more light in here, so we'll have more sort of veggie garden in here. We've run another piece of black irrigation pipe, uh, sort of along there, and it comes up there so that we can water this garden. We'll hook the hose onto it when we need to water it. But we need to get more of the, the thin black pipe. So we've got a tomato there, some strawberries, capsicum. Uh, these concrete things, these are actually, I think they came off Kerry's farm next door when they built the house. Um, they're cattle watering troughs. Uh, I think what happens is they end up leaking, so they're no good to hold water. But they're really good for gardens because I think they get quite hot. They get warm and they stay warm. The old avocado tree. It's looking a bit sad. We did have some on there. Um, a lot of them got blown off in a storm. We're not sure it's doing very well. We think it's 
it's not happy so it's trying to fruit too much but we'll see we'll we'll keep it going but it's definitely looking a bit sort of droopy haven't quite got the barbecue out yet that'll be labor weekend which is uh, might be next weekend i'm not sure uh, must be soon lemon tree the one that was originally here the mandarins okay we've had lots of limes again which is good um, I'm going to make another sort of hitching post thing here and this is another fijoa, uh, not fijoa, passion fruit. So we'll grow that passion fruit vine up this side this year. I need to redo all those wires and things. So I'm going to make another one of those sort of rails. Um, the passion fruit here got some sort of disease or something so we want to keep that clear for this year. Let it resettle down and then we can grow them up that side again. Uh, but this worked pretty well. That's just wire, but the passion fruit grew up that fine, and I've had loads of grapefruit this year, which is really good. I quite like them, so I've been eating a couple of grapefruit every day, and um, I need to prune this a bit. There's just the last few on there now. Probably don't need that steak in there anymore. Uh, it's asparagus season, so we've got lots of asparagus. I have to come out here every probably two, three days. And there's a, a new lot to harvest and you can see we've put in a another watering system here um, they're not permanently connected because the hose gets in the way so we'll just clip the hose onto there when we want to water and that'll water this garden self-seeded lettuce we've got brassicas some cauliflower I'll get out of the shadow and she's got something there, I'm not sure what. Near the birds under the hedge. So that's all coming along quite nicely. And uh, yeah. So it's spring, of course. Everything is growing like mad. Uh, we're going to trim half of this lemon trim off this side I think just so it's not coming over the over the path and, uh, I think that's about it 